Hi, this is Rick, Vintage Oddball Cards. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Well, you can see in the background, I'm not in my bedroom. I had to put something in the background. So I got the uh, giveaway win from Day Blue Jacket 66 over here. I have a 1963 calendar, a Giants calendar that was a property of my grandfather and he gave it to me, which is really cool. So instead of looking at my ugly mug, I have something you can look out besides the cards. Well, today is my 100th video. Yes, 100 videos. Uh, thanks everyone for watching all my videos, commenting, uh, just being a friend of mine in the hobby. Uh, I'm just having a blast and hopefully I can, I don't know how long it's going to take the old fart me to make another 100 videos, but like I said, it just just been a fantastic journey. Well, today I'm going to show you, going to start out with a card that uh, is a good example of why I collect what I collect. And that's the 1915 Sassini Cuban Tobacco issue here. This was a lar very large set. I think uh, probably over a thousand cards were issued, not just ball players, but actors, uh, politicians, just pretty much everything in the set. But there's only three baseball cards in the set, and this is one of them. John Mangini showed you his. We might be the only two on YouTube that actually have this card. It's pretty scarce. Uh, now, the picture here, you're going to see a player, and it's uh, Tris Speaker. Um, and he, actually, he's wearing a Chicago White Sox, White Sox uniform. And you're going to wonder why he's wearing a White Sox uniform. Well, this was a world tour in 1914. In February 26, 1914, they played this game. It was the White Sox versus the Giants. And he, Tris Speaker, was playing um, with the White Sox at the time. So it kind of stumped a lot of collectors and people is why was he wearing a White Sox photo and was this act or jersey what is this actually Tris Speaker well yes it is there's a Paul, Paul Thompson photo that uh, was taken uh, during the game with Tris Speaker at back so pretty much photo matched this the, the uh, photo with this card here the other two cards in the set, baseball cards, one is of Red Murray and the other one is of uh, unidentified players. It's kind of, a, it's tough to, to tell who the players are. Maybe it's uh, Shoeless Joe, you never know. Somebody can, uh, if there's a photo match of it, uh, the card would probably be worth a lot of money. In the background here, this might be John McGraw hitting that. Uh, fielding practice hitting balls and you got an umpire here so very very cool on the back here you're gonna see it looks like it was uh, glued to an album and of course this was authenticated by PSA so um, that's what they do nowadays so very very cool kind of a little bit but everything of what I collect man you got pre-war you got a Hall of Famer uh, you have a background story, a little history of the card and where it came from. So very cool to pick this up. Now I have the oldest Cracker Jack card, I think, in existence. And it's not the 1914 Cracker Jack cards. It's a 1907 Cracker Jack Bear postcard, which that's the back. There's the front there. You're going to see the Cracker Jack box here. And it says here the Cracker Jack Bears number 12. There was 12 postcards in the set. So kind of a, the very first Cracker Jack card. Let's see what else I have. Uh, something else uh, like the oddball stuff. Well, here's an oddball item. This is a 1937 a stamp panel and these were these panels were placed in the boxes of Kellogg's cereal there was 94 stamps in the set uh, 24 panels 
18 baseball players. So here we got a baseball player right here. And this is Sam West, played for the Senators and the Robins. Uh, actually, fantastic center fielder, four-time All-Star. Hall of Very Good, career 299 batting average. The horse here, Exterminator, he was a 1918 uh, Kentucky Derby winner. And uh, you got a Howard Jones and Roger Williams. So kind of a cool, here's the back of it. Uh, you can purchase an album for 10 cents. So you know I like love the oddball stuff. What else I have? Okay, I'm working on the uh, Diamond Star set. I picked up uh, these two BVG holders, like the two two for the price of one, dirt cheap. And I got uh, let's see, Frankie Frisch here, and also the great Bill Terry. Love this one. The background here with the scoreboard. Um, like I said, two for one, literally two for one that you would pay uh, compared to PSA pricing. So slowly but surely working on this set. Now here's a card I purchased uh, and uh, there's something uh, kind of uh, interesting about this card. See if you can tell the difference between this card and one that uh, would be graded. This would be Authentic, it would not be graded by PSA or SGC. Um, the issue with this card, can you tell? Well, his sleeves were painted in here by probably a kid and his hat was painted. Uh, but uh, besides that, it's a pretty nice card. Really got this pretty cheap. 1949 Bowman Stan the Man. Let's see, what else? Uh, oh, a 1986 Sports Flicks rookie of Barry Bonds. Uh, 50 card set. Uh, man, you have uh, Jose Canseco, Barry Larkin, uh, Will Clark in the set. As you can see, as I kind of turn it here and there, what's uh, kind of, <laughs> I don't know, sad, but this is a and a PSA 10 and the card as you can see is off center and I you know that's the one thing about PSA isn't a 10 supposed to be a 10 not an off centered you know this is obviously off center I mean it's not extremely off center but if you're going to grade it a 10 you know it should be centered properly so I paid I don't know it was a pretty inexpensive card and the back here, you're going to see that uh, it gets off center on the back, too. Now, what else I have? Um, kind of a cool uh, photo of the day. My last video, I didn't show a photo. Well, I have a big boy photo, and this is of the great Honus Wagner, a 1911 original of Honus Wagner, the great shortstop of the Pirates. Uh, Love the photos. Look at this. This is just fantastic photo of, it's not a very big photo, as you can see, was a size of uh, a little bigger than a slab, but uh, very, very cool. 1911 Honus Wagner. All right, if you're still watching here, I'm 854 right now. I'm gonna, hope Dave doesn't mind this. I'm gonna use something that he does on his giveaways. Heck, if you're still watching, man, I really appreciate it. My 100th video, so I'm going to give you a giveaway for those still watching. So what I need you to do is uh, what I'm going to give away is an HG, HGA 9.5 of Bryce Harper here. Looks fantastic rookie card of Bryce Harper. So in order to win this, you need to... Uh, make videos so you have to make contact content in order to have a chance to win this all you do is comment down below on this video and uh, why don't we say comment add the word rare to your you could just put rare 
or comment in a sentence, add the word rare. As long as I see rare in the comments, you're eligible to win this card. Next video, I'll pull a name out of the hat. Unfortunately, the people that don't make contact content are not eligible for this uh, contest. And like I said, you have to add the word rare, something that John Mangini says in each video of his. So heck, why don't we just comment with rare down below? And like I said, my next video, I will give away that Bryce Harper card. For those still watching at 10 minutes and 37 seconds here. Hey, thanks for watching. This is Rick Vintage Oddball Cards. Bye.